My pH numbers, they're all over the place, can't keep it consistent. So I asked my friend Mark from Dohemi's to come and help me figure out how to fix this. I cannot keep my pH balanced. What do I do? Uh, the simple answer is alkalinity. Okay. And, and the reason why I say that is because alkalinity and pH both ride on the same scale. But alkalinity is a buffer for your pH. Okay. So a lot of mistakes people make is that they only concentrate on the chlorine level and the pH level. Mm -hmm. And so they'll go out and test their water and it'll be fine. They come back a day later and it's down. Mm -hmm. They add a bunch of pH increaser to get it back in line. The next day it's back down and we have this bounce going because they, they neglect the alkalinity. So I, the general rule I use is alkalinity first. Okay. If you're having pH issues, check your alkalinity. How do I adjust the alkalinity? Very easy. With your, your current t test kit that you're using, has a test for alkalinity. You're reading and you, we have alkalinity up or alkalinity down. Thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome. I know, it's a lot. It can be overwhelming to try to balance all the information and make all these different decisions. That's what's great about a place like Doheny's, and if you visit them at doheny.com, you're going to be able to get that information to help you make the right decision at the right time. Make sure you like and subscribe so that we can help you find the right answers to the right problem.